guys so today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Christmas 2022 so I'm gonna keep this intro sweet and short so I currently have three girls Layla who just turned nine Aurora is about to be five a few days before Christmas and then Jade is two so I'm gonna share all of the presents that I got for them I'm not gonna go in any particular order because I've literally been shoving all of their presents inside a giant like cardboard box so i have a list right here that way i can refer to it because i wrote down like the girls names on here and then just like all of their gifts so i can keep track of what's what because it's quite a bit and then i also will be sharing some gifts that my mom got the girls because those already came in so i'll be sharing those and then i also shared some gift guides over on my like to know it the link will be down below in the description as well as links to everything that i show today i shared some gift guides over there for girls and boys ranging from babies all the way to around Layla's age like nine-year-olds so make sure you check out that if you're looking for even more gift guides I also apologize for this video going up so late we were sick and just a bunch of things happened so let's stop talking because I'm out of breath already let's jump into the video so the first gift is for Aurora my almost five-year-old so this is by hearth and hand at Target and this is their cupcake set. My kids really love their toy play kitchen, all of the pretend food and stuff like that. So I always get them new little sets every year. Next is this Yoto card case. So I did get the girls a Yoto. It's kind of like a little player box. I'll show it to you guys in a second. It's somewhere over here. But this is just the case. That way they don't lose their little cards so they can keep those all organized next is a my little pony layla is actually into these surprisingly layla is my nine-year-old and she actually really likes these these are like the old style my little pony so this isn't their newer version these were really really hard to come by thankfully i was able to find some off of walmart that weren't too expensive because the ones that i was finding on amazon were like 50 dollars it was ridiculous so if you're looking for old school my little ponies definitely keep your eye out on walmart because they were definitely way cheaper than other sites that i was looking at next is a little doggy this is for my daughter jade who is two so this is a wobble and go interactive plush doll this is from target it's by the brand b toys she already has the cat you push its back and then it like rolls around on the floor she thinks it's the funniest thing, so I figured she would really love the dog. I cannot wait for her to open this because the cat is her favorite. Next up is a Lego classic set. This is for Layla. You guys know she is obsessed with Legos. She's been since she was really small. Lego building is kind of like her and Benny's thing to do. They've been doing it together for as long as I can remember. And I did do a DIY project in her big girl room where I did a like makeover on the Ikea Trofast storage organization shelf and I made her a Lego table so she's been asking for another Lego set because she just needs a bunch of like um, new pieces. Next is a little wooden educational toy is what it's called but it's a little like ice cream pool truck and then it has all of these little ice creams in it where you can like mix and match them. I figured she would really love this. We have like a pool pup that we have for mom every and she really loves like walking around with it. So I figured she would really love this one. She has a thing right now for ice cream. We have the Melissa and Doug ice cream set already. And she like just like loves taking the ice cream scoops off the cones, mix and matching them, stacking them. So I figured she would love this one. Next up is a little woodsies fun and furry woodland creature. So this is for Layla. I did get her a little thing to go with this. This is what I bought to go with the bears. So this is a little woodsy travel suitcase. It's a pastry shop play set. So it looks like a little house and then it just like opens up and you can put the little figures in here and since it is a travel case you can easily like take this on the go. So these two are meant to go together. This one is also for Layla. This is a kid's camera 
it looks like a cloud and then it has a rainbow up top she like likes taking pictures of her own on her ipad she also likes to take videos all the time she likes to pretend that she's vlogging with aurora they like to pretend that they have their own youtube channel and they're opening toys and they're doing like toy reviews all of that so i figured she would really like this. So this one is a wooden coffee maker. This is for Jade. She has an obsession with the coffee. She will go over to her play kitchen, pretend to make herself a little cup of coffee, and then we'll cheers it and she'll pretend to drink it. It's the cutest thing. Our coffee maker set is starting to kind of fall apart already. So I figured I would upgrade hers and get her a new one. So this one is super cute. So it comes with the coffee maker, some milk, some coffee pods, um, a coffee cup so this one is also for Jade this is by the brand tender leaf which is one of my favorite toy brands on Amazon they have the cutest like toys that you can't find at like stores like Target and Walmart they have like unique toys I just absolutely love them so this is their wicker shopping basket so it comes with the baguette it comes with flowers the bread, an apple, chocolate, um, lemonade, some salami, cheese, and then of course it all comes inside this wicker basket. So next up is the Disney Princess Light Up and Style Vanity. This is for Aurora. I originally saw this on TikTok. I thought this was the cutest thing. So Jade already has a little like makeup playset that she just got for her birthday. And then Layla last Christmas got a little vanity set. So Aurora is the only one that doesn't have like little makeup hair sets. So I figured she would really love this one because she loves Disney princesses. So this opens up. It's a little like travel case. So it has a handle up here. And then it opens up like this. It has some legs that come down so it can stand. It has a mirror. And then this actually like lights up and stuff. The blow dryer makes noises. Um, the curling iron like lights up when you use it. Next up is some rainbow blocks. These are for Jade. So it comes with 24 pieces, six different shapes, four translucent colors. She's really into blocks. All of the kids are actually really into like anything that you can build. They love that stuff. So I figured she would really love this. It's kind of a small set. It only comes with 24 pieces. So I do have another set exactly like this on her list that I gave to her grandma. So we'll see if she gets another one. I got another My Little Pony for Layla. Just a different one. This one is for Aurora. This is by the brand Melissa and Doug. And this is their pattern blocks and boards. So it comes with 120 wood shapes and five double-sided pattern boards. So it comes with these pattern boards. And then with the blocks, your child uses them to mimic the pattern on the board. They can either start off by finding the correct patterns and placing it on the board, or as your child gets older, to make it a little bit more challenging, they can actually make the pattern off the board. This one is also for Aurora. So this is the brand Fat Brain Toys. And this is called their Ladybug's Garden Memory Game. So I figured this was also another good, like, educational, fun kind of thing, which is what I lean more toward. This one is also for Aurora. So this is the Lee Toy Van Cash Register, another one of my favorite brands on Amazon. So it's just a little wooden cash register. It comes with some money, comes with some coins so this one is for jade i don't want to open it up and mess it up because there's a ton of pom-poms in here but i'll put a picture on the screen it's basically a little wooden rainbow and your child uses their motor skills to get a little tweezers to pick up the pom-pom balls and then they can put them inside the rainbow this one is also for jade so this is the tender leaf color me happy puzzle so it's just like a little colorful puzzle I plan on working more with like colors and shapes for her. She has pretty much her colors all down, but we need to work on shapes. So that's why I got like things like this. So I figured she would really love this one. It's different than your ordinary puzzle. It looks like 
this right here. Next up are some tip and sip toy juice bottles. These are for Layla. We went to like a indoor playground place for Layla's birthday and we also love to go to Imagine City which is also like another indoor play space where they have like a pretend like grocery market in there and like doll set up, um, like a little vet set up. So they had these. She has been asking me ever since for these. So they're just like little juice bottles and then when you tip them, the liquid inside looks like it disappeared, kind of like you drank it. So it comes with grape, berry mix, apple, cranberry, and orange. So this one is for Jade, and I think I'm most excited to give her this one. My mom has this one at her house already, and Jade plays with it all the time, so I figured we would get one. So this is the Motor and Senses Wooden Car Ramp Racer, and it comes with the rainbow cars too. So you just put the car on top and then it just like zigzags back and forth all down the ramp. So next up is the Yoto player that I was talking about in the beginning. So here's what it looks like. So this is for Aurora, but it's going to just go inside the playroom so all of the kids can use it pretty much. But this is mainly for Aurora because Aurora really loves to listen to music. So like I said earlier, you can buy like different packs of cards. You put the card up here into the slot and then a picture will appear depending on which card you put in here so for example if you put like the hungry caterpillar card in here then it will show like caterpillar picture or stuff like that on there i also did buy some yoto player cards that i'm going to put in all of their stockings actually but this did come with the starter pack so it came with my first 100 words card it came with crackling fire story shed robin hood a musical adventure hotel flamingo songs from the playground and then it came with make your own and the total running time it says is nine hours and 38 minutes so i did get them one more big gift so me and benny got them one like giant gift that is for all of them and that is the nugget couch I went with the sand colored one so it's kind of like a muted brown color I figured that would go really good in the playroom I have been thinking about getting a nugget for so long my mom has one and they're obsessed with it over there but I figured it was time to finally get one because the little foam mat that we have in the playroom it's finally starting to peel because we've had it for a couple years now so I've been meaning to replace that but I didn't know what I wanted to replace it with but I figured a nugget would be a good replacement it's gonna fit perfect in that little spot so I think they will really love that the kids are always stealing my couch cushions and my blankets because they always like to make forts so I figured I would just spend the money buy them the nuggets so they can make their own fort at the playroom and stop stealing my couch cushions and then as far as gifts from the big red jolly man all of the girls got bikes um i'll just put pictures on the screen because those are actually being stored in the garage right now and they're not built at all they're really heavy i don't want to like go grab that because i'm pregnant very out of breath right now and then for their other second present from the jolly man that is for all three of them to share is a refrigerator i'm super excited for them to get this like i said they are obsessed with their play kitchen but they're kind of running out of room inside the play kitchen because they just have so many sets now and i just bought them more sets so i figured having a actual like standalone refrigerator on this side of their play kitchen will be really useful and they'll love it so they have extra storage for their play kitchen that's all of their big gifts from benny and myself and the jolly man so now i'm going to share some gifts that my mom got the girls this first one i believe is for layla so this is animal habitats around the world so this is a sticker book it's a sticker activity book so it comes with over 500 stickers so on one side it has like a scene such as like um the ocean for example and then the other side has like all of the other stickers that you can put on the scene so i think she'll really love this like i said i think this is for layla but 
this is what it looks like this is the same brand as the sticker book that i got them for halloween and that was a huge hit so whoever this is for is going to love it next up is a magnetile set this is the jungle set so this is for aurora all of my kids are obsessed with magnetiles it's probably like the number one toy that gets played with so i know she's going to love this Layla also has a set just like this on her wish list that went out to family but hers is the arctic set so it has like polar bears and the magnetiles are blue next up is a fire hd kids amazon tablet so this is for jade i know some people are against screens but i personally am not against it especially because i put my kids on a lot of educational apps such as abc mouse homer um the hungry caterpillar app so my kids are not only like having fun and playing but they're also actually learning something so i personally am not against screen time so I'm super excited for this one. It has like already like preloaded kids games on here, preloaded books. So this one is for Layla. This is the Bloom doll. So it's like a little like flower pot and then you add water on it. They have like giant hair so it kind of looks like a flower as a doll is emerging. Kind of like a random toy but she really likes these so I know she's going to love that. So this is the Habba magnetic like puzzle game. So it comes with a little pen and then it's magnetic. And as you move the pen, the balls move through the maze. So that's for Aurora. And then this one is for Layla. So this is also a Yoto player, but this is the Yoto mini. So it's just a mini version of the bigger player that I shared. So that's why I got her some cards too. And then I didn't want Jay to feel left out because like I said, the bigger one we're most likely going to just keep in the playroom at all times and then Layla can just keep this one in her room. So since Aurora and Layla got a player, I figured I would just throw some cards inside Jade's stocking as well. So this is the last thing that my mom got for the girls. So this is for Aurora. So this is the wooden train car Melissa and Doug set. So it just comes with a bunch of trains. So that's pretty much it for all of the big gifts that the kids are getting. So now I'm going to share some stocking stuffers. Like I said, they're kind of just like shoved all over in my room right now because I've been hiding them. So I'm going to just read the list to you guys. So the girls are kind of pretty much getting the same exact things, just like different colors. So in their stocking, like I said, they're getting Yoto cards. So Layla is getting the Ramona cards, Aurora is getting Spider-Man cards, and then Jade is getting ballet music cards. They're each getting a brush too. I actually have that right here because it was shoved in the box right here. I recently discovered these kind of brushes. This is the Tangle Teaser Brush, and I absolutely love them. I feel like they work so good on our hair. They take out the tangles great. There's like less pooling, less shedding with these brushes. So I've been obsessed with them. So I am putting one in all of the girls' stocking. So this is the mini size. So this one is going in Jade's stocking. And then I got one for Aurora and then one for Layla. The only difference is Layla's is for curly hair. And then this is another stocking stuffer that I have right here on hand. So this is little like fidget spinner things. It has a little suction cup so you can put these like on the floor or like on a window. These would be really good if you're traveling with your kid. You can suction these on like the car window and spin them. Or if you're going on the airplane and you have the window seat, these would also be really good at keeping your kid entertained. So they're just like little spinners. So it comes with three of them. There's a bumblebee, a snail, and a butterfly and then i also got all of the girls a little like kinetic sand pack and then i got layla and aurora some chapstick so layla's chapstick are like holiday themed so there's like a gingerbread man a peppermint one stuff like that and then aurora's chapsticks are spider-man themed the lippers that's the last thing that i'm putting in their stocking that i have i think i'm also gonna get them some like treats or something like candy canes some type of like candy or snack I'm also going to put in their stocking but I didn't want to buy that stuff like too far in advance so I have to go out to the store and go get that but that is everything 
that my kids got for 2022. Like I said, don't forget to check out the description down below for links to everything, as well as links to my gift guides that I shared, and just like some other gift ideas that is also on the girls' wish list that went out to family. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I am so sorry that it went up so late. As you can probably hear my voice, I'm still getting over this cold. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.